Yeah, it was like... I remember when I first heard about it, like, I didn't really dig into it because like oh if it was only it was like japan only like as far as rpgs are concerned the only one i really cared about was uh what eventually came out as trials of mana mm. but then i saw that and i'm like wait a second i recognize that title and i'm like okay that looks pretty cool it's like i feel like my gamer card should be taken away that i didn't know about a game like that like i'm so upset that i don't know i didn't know about it either i'm pretty yeah i'm pretty sure there's plenty of people who probably didn't I'm sure too, but this is someone who likes games like that. That's why I feel so <laughs> bad. Like, I know in the last Direct, there was that game that everybody, I think, knew of, but I never heard of that, um... What was that game? It got remade. Um, Act... Re -center oh, Act Rise? Razor? Yeah, Act Razor, Razor. yeah. Oh, never man. Heard that. Never, what? I never heard of that game, but there's so many fans of it, and now I feel like it's the opposite with Live Alive that most people never heard of the game, but this is a game I actually wish I knew. <laughs> it's just like, ah. Well, look, you're gonna get your chance to play it, and nobody has to know, and and you can keep your gamer cred. Hey. There's, there's just there's certain things I like to keep to myself, but not like this. I kind of want people to know it's like, I didn't know about this game. Gosh, this upsets me. <laughs> oh. You want a hug? I don't even think that would make you feel better. Oh my goodness. Me, I would say, usually I would say a hug does, but like, I'm just so annoyed. I don't know what to do. Like hey, if there was a breaths. special edition. If there was a special edition coming up with this game, I'll feel better. But I, so far, I know that there's a physical, and obviously you can get it digitally. But like, <laughs> game gives me two bombs already. I love it. No, <laughs> man, I got hit by the first one. Okay, RNG gods, what are you doing to hyena? <laughs> Aya! Uh. Eat the fire! I don't want it. It sounds spicy. <laughs> it gives me heartburn. <laughs> Literally. You've got no tongues. Like, Warrior doesn't get heartburn when he tries to eat a flaming soccer ball. Speaking of. Die! Speaking of fire. Well, speaking of Dylon, I mean. That was a good steal. Wait, how do I have? Never mind. Ooh. Got the sriracha. Oh, wait, I already have the coins. Ooh, wait. sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> That's so like 2010 or whatever era that came out. Dude. What sriracha? Yeah. It's. it's been a thing, bro. I know it's been a thing, it's just one of those things that's like, been there, done that. Uh-oh. Ah! Alright, it's all about that Carolina Reaper sauce. Yeah, that wasn't the greatest bomb dang throw. It. Oh, dang, PB with a steal. I wasn't expecting that blue shell to hit me. <laughs> they targeted me at the last second. Give you the business. <laughs> Holy crud, PB won? Yeah, PB one. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. If it didn't happen, if he didn't take a picture, it didn't happen. Look, he's the king. Quick, take a picture. Oh, you want because of PB one because I wasn't racing. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> Wild surge appears. Welcome to the race. CTK. Hello. For another ice palace place. Well, mm. well, welcome CTK. Sounds like you're mad, bro. Oh. I'm mad. I lost my pistachios. Oh, I thought you were trying to say that you're a mad dog. <laughs> I've got oh, some dear. pistachios. I mean, I got some pistachios. <laughs> what are the pistachios? <laughs> oh, I found them. You know, pistachios. Just nuts. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, some pistachios. They don't. They're not in the shell. Yeah. Mine aren't in the shell. <laughs> On the half shell. Hey, it's Kirby. Ghost in the shell. Ghost pistachios. Yeah. Look, we haven't seen Kirby in a while. Kirby! That's a mouthful. a mouthful from him. Hey, wait a minute, I just said that first. <laughs> oh, yeah? Are we not talking about Mario Kart 48? That's 
That's what I'm talking. That's about. what everybody wants to talk about. Just because you're playing Mario, <laughs> Mario Kart. Oh so, my God! Talk so about the direct. Who's gonna be the first one to talk about it? <laughs> who's gonna pull the trigger? Oh, um, how did I avoid that? <laughs> What? <laughs> How about Earthbound? Oh, oh yeah, Earthbound. I'm starting to think I know why I got Earthbound beginning is finally off the Wii U. <laughs> yes, congrats to that. And we're never gonna get Mother 3. Much <laughs> less even a new mother. Yeah, apparently they had to change like a whole bunch of that game to localize it. They don't like wanna do that. Mother. I'm starting to realize why the direct yeah. yesterday was rated M for Mature. Wait, what? Hmm? Rated M for Mature? Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was for Zombie Army 4, but sure. Zombies? Well, apparently those games are supposed to be good, so... Might look into it, see if it's a uh, cross-play. Yeah. Oh, what do you think you're doing? So many bombs, what are y'all doing? What? It's me. <laughs> you gotta look to your left. Dang it! To the left, to the left. Oh, Toadette coming up out of nowhere. Yeah, let's see. Um, so yeah, we yeah. definitely didn't get Mario Kart Nine, but we got Mario Kart something. Yeah, yeah, it's basically a new game. Mario Kart Forty Eight. That's pretty yeah. much like a new game, basically. Mario yeah. Kart Forty Eight Deluxe. Mm. We're gonna be playing this game forever. <laughs> hey, uh, I just think it sucks because. I spent money on the Wii U and all the DLC. Then you buy the one on Switch, then you have to buy more DLC. I'm just trying to spend money on the game. The question I wanted to ask that is this the first <laughs> game in history where a re release that had the DLC from the previous release get more DLC on top of it? Because I don't think there's ever been a game like that. There probably has. Not, not for Nintendo, maybe for another company. I'm, yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying to think of other companies that I can't even think of one. I would say like Grand Theft Auto V, does that count? I'm pretty sure it does. Probably. <laughs> yeah, 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 that does. <laughs> How does that count? That game didn't technically have DLC. All its content was through the online. You call that yeah. as DLC? Well, that's DLC. <laughs> you have to pay for the online. Uh, well, not really. Like, actually, yeah. something with Oaken Tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking of Pokemon Tournament, but I don't. Pokemon Tournament didn't have DLC on the Wii U, but it had an additional character on the Switch, which was the Sidewai and someone else I'm forgetting. Hmm. So that's yeah, not yeah. one. And then I was also thinking of uh, Captain Toad, that... but Captain Co Toad doesn't count. Yeah. It had it had yeah, I think it's a... it had DLC on the Switch. Uh -huh. It would count, but the yeah. uh, code uh, game on the 3DS and Switch had the uh, 3D World content removed. So if it had that, then it would count. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say I can't think of a game unless it's outside of Nintendo, yeah. which I can't even think of. If Grand Theft Auto even counts really as one. I mean, it would because it has DLC. <laughs> I don't look at the content online as DLC. They didn't say it was DLC. They just call it content. Just because it has the word content doesn't mean it's downloadable. <laughs> I mean, you have to pay for the, it to that's, play that's it. That's FIFA count. It's basically the same game every year. <laughs> mm. FIFA. Like, you have to pay for that DLC, though. Yeah, I think FIFA would count. Yeah. No. All we do is just do a roster change every like, year. I'm trying to think of like re-releases like Devil May Cry, Assassin's Creed, but none of those come to mind. It's like, yeah, they had DLC release for them, but it's Makes not like sense. they had additional DLC. Y'all suck. Not as much as Kirby. Oh. Sometimes Kirby blows though. Oh, yo. When does that happen? Lisa's hair? 
<laughs> After you jump. There. Yes. Hmm. I guess before we move on to a different game to talk about, um, I did post in the Mario Kart thread that in the Mario Kart DLC trailer, I recognized the narrator. Hmm? And I posted something, I, I tweeted about it. And then he actually replied to it. Yeah. Confirming that it was them. Yeah. Yeah, I saw wow. that. It was Lucy Christian. The name sounds cool. familiar, but I don't know of her works. Yeah. One Piece Nami. Mm. Um, like Go Nintendo posted something about their mom playing like some game on Switch. I asked if it was um, Luminous on Switch, and then like the creator of Luminous liked my um, post. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. So that was pretty much a yes. Like, and like um, who the guys that worked on uh, Tetris Effect liked one of my uh, or a few of my uh, tweets. There. Kind of like back in the day when. People who used to work on the games on uh, Miiverse used to just see what people are yeah. That was nice. Oh, that's, what, that, that's what they were doing on there. They were just looking at everybody. Yeah. Not Tetris. <laughs> Dio. Um, you've seen My Hero Academia, right? No. No? Uh, okay. Um, what anime have you seen? Uh... I guess we can start from the very beginning. I was, I always like to say to people that my first anime was Dragon Ball, but it was actually Sailor Moon. In here. So, yeah, Sailor Moon, oh. Dragon Ball, uh, Bleach, what else? Full Metal Alchemist. Best one. Uh... <laughs> Chin -chan. I'm trying to think if she plays anybody in full metal. Uh, Shaman I, King. I, I think I saw someone posted said that she played the um the truth. Well, oh, dang it. that's why I probably recognized her in it because like mm -hmm. her name seems familiar, but nothing seems to yeah. come to memory. I didn't recognize her voice. So. Me either. <laughs> It's just amazing what people do voiceovers for, and it's end up being a secret as damn it. I know whose bomb that was. <laughs> uh, secret of the tender being secretive all the time and telling them, Yeah, do a voiceover, <laughs> and we're not telling you what this is for. Okay, let's see. So, I'm That's thinking kind of since you haven't cards. seen you haven't seen uh, My Hero Academia, um, oh my gosh, have you ever seen Full Metal Panic? I've heard of it, never watched it. Oh wow. No, you should watch it. Because <laughs> honestly, oh, when wow. you just see a bunch of animes that you're looking for and it's close enough to the one you're looking for, that's how I heard about it because it, it's close to Full Metal Alchemist. So it's like, yeah, okay, I heard of it, never watched it. I think that's why I like actually started watching it. Oh yeah, because you know that I uh, watch Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is another anime. The reason why I even started to watch Fairy Tale, because I forget where I saw marketing material. And there was a character, you know, who's um, one of Lucy's spirits, Loki. He looks like Ichigo. That was the only reason why I watched Fairy Tale. So, okay. Oh, snap because like uh i guess loki kind of reminds me of sanji hmm yeah i oh, he's kind of but i would say one of them is a bit more of a womanizer than the other it's weird because they're voiced by the same guy eric vale so eric vale's a womanizer oh huh. Wow, why did I not put that together? Because, like, Eric Bell, he can disguise his voice, but that doesn't sound like Eric Bell when he's doing Sanji. Huh. 
There's a womanizer that disguises his voice. This is not going well for Eric Bale. What's a womanizer? That's a song. You don't want to be a Johnny Young boss where you just sound the same all the time. We're talking about this last week. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying that, like, it's good that you have range in your voice, man. Like, who wants to sound the same all the time? Why? These bombs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but you have seen One Piece, right? Yes. Okay, she plays Nami. Ah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wait, that wasn't Hyena's bomb. Who was that? That was mine. <laughs> I mean, I will admit it. That was only the first lap. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do that again. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh, Baba. <clears throat> oh, no. What were you going to say about my hero, though? No, because, um, I mean, you know she voices Ochako. Uh. I actually did not know that. that. Really? Great. More you know. I'm surprised you didn't know. To like, I'm not one to be particularly like knowing about certain animes and their voice actors. Um, figured out not a lot of people I wouldn't say pride themselves they just happen to come across that they just know we're here or actually look up sometimes they don't even have to yeah I would say I'm in the 50 50 category when it comes to who I hear and who I know no I'm trying to fly I'm flying here I'm flying. Fly like an eagle. You see. Fly like an eagle. Get somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, because, um. I. With, like, voice acting or whatever. Um. I guess. I connect more with an anime if. Like, voice actors I know are voicing in it. Gotcha. <clears throat> That's an interesting perspective. I'm not gonna say that I can care less that I know who's voicing the voice, whether actually I wouldn't even really know all that much because I would say I watch an equal amount of sub and dub animes, but I wouldn't know any of the Japanese ones. But English, it doesn't really matter to me. It's really about what is being presented to me and if I like the story. This anime just tells more obviously interesting stories than any other kind of cartoon medium out there. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm an out-and-out -out voice actor, but I did do some voice work on the side on, like, a small anime. Hmm. What? That's a nice call-out. Because mm -hmm. I told you guys that yeah. I was on the show Degrassi, and I knew Drake, but not really knew Drake, so yeah. Started for the bottom, now you're here. <laughs> I'm still here and nothing's happening. I always quote that song. Got the whole team with you. What anime did you voice in? <laughs> you can call me on my cell phone. Yeah, anime. Gosh. Try again. It didn't work. Suscuitious. Suscuitious. Come on. There's no DKs in this race. Woo! Oh. Nobody plays this DK. Take that. <clears throat> Maybe we should play as our least used racer. Uh, I don't think those stats you can look up from Mario Kart. It's no smash. It's, it's somewhere windy. in there. Oh, it probably is windy. Actually, it's windy. I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure on your license it shows you. Oh my gosh, danger! 
It, it shows the character you play the most oh, wow. on your driver's license, but not the least. So, who's that red shell gonna hit? Who's this blue shell gonna hit? Who's that bomb gonna hit? Oh no! <laughs> oh, that, is, that blue shell. Wow, I went from 10 coins down to one. <gasps> mine. That blue shell was mine. Yeah, I don't have any now. Mario Kart deal. I have two. Constantly. Maybe oh, no, 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 no. for the last Great. time tonight. How did we never had a blue shell cup before? I think there was supposed to be one in. Like I'm on the Wii U. Talking like yeah. that's the last one in Wave Six. It was like, how do we oh. never had a blue shell cup? Before? Because we haven't gone this I need far. To get Rainbow Road Cup. Yeah, the blue the the blue shell cup is probably going to be like the worst Rainbow Roads ever. Or something. <gasps> Rainbow Road Three. I mean. Oh my! Oh. That is super oh. circuit. Come on. Uh, you're trying. Ow! Oh, come on. At least I didn't say the word. I, I didn't lose anything. Yay! Yay! Hey. Oh, mm. Whack. So, um... I'll have to like go back the... and watch the uh, trailer then <laughs> to listen, because I didn't recognize the voice at first. Because uh, I, I watched it, well, like, when we were watching it, it's like, I was just listening to it, it's like, hmm, so I, so I watched it later and listened to it, it's like, is that her? Yeah. Hey, Kristen. Hey. You have to act and then, on Twitter just to be certain of your finding. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, like, so it's like... It's like, it's a hunch, but it is... I thought I heard Lucy Christian as narrating the Mario Kart trailer. And then it was. Trust me, we establish even I think before last week, we we're very good at establishing voices we heard before. Even if it's slightly different or their voice or their voice in real life are just slightly different in real ah. life. Yeah, Not I'm right. To that. Especially since you got what you said that you identify in watching anime by their voices too, so that helps too. Because I've heard uh I mean, she's, she's been in plenty of anime that I've seen. Well, me and my brother have seen. <laughs> so who is um, excited for Mario Strikers uh, Battle League? It's going to oh, be yeah. great. Yeah. It's going to be Legend, wait for it. Dairy. Legendary. Cool. <laughs> Bring up that meme. It's so 2000. <laughs> yeah. It's so 2000 and late. Legendary is going to be the Wii Sports Bowling. You mean the Nintendo Switch Bowling? Yeah. Well, we'll, 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 we'll see about that. They had bowling in Clubhouse games. Because with it's kind of like messed up. Battle, you can make clubs. <laughs> and on Nintendo Switch Sports, from what I know, ah, there's no crud. I ran yes. right into the Wii Sports Club on the Wii U. I, yeah, I remember that. Brent. I was about to mention that. That was yeah. as cool as that can get. I don't even know if I'm gonna get Nintendo Switch because like how that soccer thing looks, I don't wanna pay for something I don't think I wanna play with everything else I want to. Yeah. Being kind of crud. Crud. Seen that, but yeah. yeah. There you I got go, the game for free, sure. I'll just avoid playing soccer and play everything else, but I'm not mm. buying something. Yeah, there's like a there's a demo coming next weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna be in that because at least there's no soccer in it. Well, I mean, the, like, what's wrong with the soccer one? Uh, one the giant soccer. One it's, it's, I think um, you want to use the lake shop to do like shootouts, but just bringing in that mechanic that seems weird. And I'm being kind of you don't you don't have to have you don't have to have the lake yeah, shop. Figure it out, but knowing that it's just there to be used, I'm using that as like a petty excuse to say that yeah, I'm on board with yeah. everything else in that game, but not that. I'm not paying for something that I'm not gonna play, or, and even if it's an option not to use. That's really odd. Yeah. That's like the people who complained about Mario Galaxy because it had that. What was it? That helper mode? I forgot what it was called. 
and they made it a whole thing about it. It's like, look, you don't even have to use that mode, but they were just mad because it was in there. I'm just like, are you what? <laughs> okay, I get it. Thanks you for for relaying that. Well, I mean, you, I mean, do what you do, but I just remember yeah, those. Like he... I just remember those arguments from back in the day, and I'm just like, like you literally don't have to use that mode, but okay. So I was like, you don't want the yeah. game because like it has you put in there that plays plays level four. You basically <laughs> right. It's like, so you yeah. don't want the game because it has an optional thing in it. It's like, they did that with Donkey Kong Country Returns, Tropical Freeze, New Super Mario Brothers, you. Wii, and you. Oh, yeah, we, uh... Yeah. Fire have Emblem. Fire the... 3D Land. Did they have it in the 3D? The Yoshi, the Yoshi game on Wii yeah, they had, yeah, they had Land and, um, Land and World. Yeah, they no, were just yeah. mad because it often popped up. No, no, okay, okay. Before, okay, no, in the same year when um, New Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. U came out, there was New Super Mario Bros. Two for the 3DS. Did that had a help feature? I don't think so. Yeah, that's I weird. I, I never got that game. I got that game. Uh, I don't remember um, any aspect of seeing that game. So why is it that two New Super Mario Bros. games that released in the same year they put it in yeah. the the console version, but not the handheld? I don't remember if it's it easy. Not. I don't remember if it was. I haven't played that forever. <laughs> you know, that's a very valid. Like I got like a million games. coins in that game, and I was like done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I played that game as much as I played 3D Land, which I'm always of the unpopular p opinion that I like 3D Land more than 3D World. And yeah, I don't yeah. Really care, but like, they're both good. I I like. To that's such a wrong opinion. Game. But go mm -hmm. on. I like I like uh, New Super Mario Bros. Two more than you, and knowing that those two games are coming out, that I made a choice and stuck with two. So that opinion is wrong, but I keep going. Coin item was a good idea, and they used it pretty well in that game. Not Wait, I'm wrong about hmm. land being better than world, and that New Super Mario Bros. Two is better than you. Wow, I'm two for two. Wait, what? Oh, um, his wrong that's opinions. That sounds, like, that's, that sounds like crazy saying that he prefers uh, World over Land and you over New Super Mario Bros. 2. And I'm the other way around. Yes. Ah. Yes, that is exactly. Like, honestly, like, who releases the same Mario game in the same year like that? But it's not the same game. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not the same game. Well, it's from the same series as new in it, and it's a side scroller, and it features but it, Mario. But it's not but they're the same literally game. different games. <laughs> they're they're different. You're, say, you're saying one's better than the other, but they're the same game. Okay, I see. Oh, yeah, you did kind of cock yourself. Yep. Yeah, okay. But no, like they're no, literally. No, no, no. Okay, I'm, one I'm thing was made by the newcomers, and one was made by the old guy. Okay, I'm gonna try to oh. first correct, and if it doesn't work, I will admit oh. defeat. I'm just saying that. It's the same yeah. genre of side scrolling and Mario and the new. They have different elements that, like how I compare Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time as one of the best games. Darn it, hyena. Hello. <laughs> Hello does, but I like them both for different reasons. I, mean, I, I don't get... like e I don't like one of these games for uh, for another reason. Oh, even dang it. The yeah. same genre of games. Nice. I kind of say. No, I should have let you what win. Happened? One of these things are not like the other. But New Super Mario Brothers 2 shouldn't have been called 2. It should be called 3. <laughs> True, because uh, there was New Super Isn't Mario it? Bros. and the DS. Yeah. It should have just been called New Super Mario Brothers Cash Money Edition. I mean, well, weren't they <laughs> going to name it Su New Super Mario Brothers Gold? They should have. I don't remember. That's like saying that Majora's Mask should have been called... Um, Gaiden, but they didn't name it that. I think that was just like a placeholder or code name or something. Because I do remember. You should have called it 3DS. It was like I don't remember 3D. It was a placeholder name for two. I never heard that there was it was going to be called Gold. And plus, Nintendo's not really good at listing number of titles. Like all of a sudden we're in Mario Kart Seven. Yes, it's the seventh title, but it's not like they order it like when they did. Uh, Super Mario Bros and Super Mario Bros 2 and then 3 and then they just stop and then they call them new and they went to Super Mario World. Yeah, I'm just saying that Nintendo's <laughs> not just really supposed to be boring 
games. Super Mario World was just technically Super Mario Brothers 4. In Japan. Which eventually got named out on the Advance. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Super Mario World 2. Yeah, it was called it was called Super Mario uh, like four in Japan originally, but then they changed it. You can see like beta or um, yeah. title screens for it. Oh, yeah, that also reminds me because like um, uh, Link to the um, Link Between Worlds was called Hyrule to the Gods or something two in Japan or something like that. Yeah, Hyrule to the something gods too. <laughs> A lot of people behind me. Uh, dang it! Uh. So who's gonna who's gonna play through that dread mode when uh that Metroid Dread update comes out? It's right. gonna be a pain in the ass. It's gonna be like, so frustrating. Oh, it's not gonna be a pain for me because I'm not even gonna attempt it. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> I still need to finish that game. They're the like, answer to that question is silence. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even played the game. Like, why would you want to put yourself through that? It's not even about that. It's just like how people either will have a response and saying no. It's the same question could be said about who's going to play rookie mode because no one's not going to admit that. Me. I mean, I mean, I can at least see rookie mode because I can definitely see people new to the game probably getting held up on at least a couple of bosses in there. But, yeah, that's what people say. Yeah. But In dread way. mode, I'm like, whoa, hold on. Props to anybody who legitimately completes that. They'll oh, complete yeah. it. It'll just take forever. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's probably surprised. there's people now probably on Twitch playing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's any gaming journalist that can actually finish dread when there's already a mode for them in the game. I will say, I am looking forward to the boss rush mode, though, because some of the Chozo fights were great. There were just not enough of them. At least to me, anyway. Why, did it remind you of, like, a Naruto <laughs> fight in your head or something? That's super specific, but no. <laughs> they were just fun. Like, it was something different. <clears throat> How does everything sound, by the way? I have no idea. Ooh, so it sounds like people are equally excited for Battle League and Nintendo Switch Sports. I mean, yeah, we sports with a lot of fun. Yep. Because like Mario Stri Mario Strikers Charge came out in 2007, I think. So you're talking about a game that's been out of commission for almost 15 yeah. years. Like, that was the first online Wii U uh, Wii game. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's hard to think about memories of a game that we thought was never coming back. I didn't know that. We hear because I don't think it still has been confirmed if the Vancouver oh. Canadian developers uh, Next Level Games is making because it has to be them. Yeah, most likely. Because like, not to say that what have they been up to since Luigi's Mansion Three? Not to say that anyone cares what, what they've been, been doing. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now and, uh, and now, and is the game going to be bare bones like most of the Mario sports games that we've been seeing? Are they going to have additional content? Yeah, they're probably going to update it like with every other game. Yeah, it's going to start. It's going to have like nothing oh in it. That's God. what they're going to do. Yeah, it launches with like nothing in it, and they update it over time. And that just makes people get bored with it, and not want to come back with it. Oh no! I kind of blame like with Animal Crossing. <laughs> Well, two is the one that started that trend. I feel like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, yep. The thing with Splatoon, it's not that uh, I was aware of it at the time. I'm okay with Splatoon because there's so much to do in the game already. Oh. But I feel like they're taking that to like the nth degree with these Mario sports game, where it's even more bare than anything um, in Splatoon nowadays. So I really yeah, like. I hope Splatoon Three has actual content. <laughs> Like I'm looking yeah. for. Oh, she had that proper like um local multiplayer. Like we can go online and play like offline. Add CPU in there. Thank you, Kristen. <coughs> I'm glad oh. to hear that people are excited about Splatoon Three. Seems like it's only me. Salmon run. 
I think as you get closer to the release, you'll you'll start seeing more hype for it. Mm, yeah, we should have got a release date already, like summer 2022. Well, no doubt. Everybody was thinking, like, give us a date. You gave a date for fire. Tim, Tim felt too similar. Mm. True, but I like how you can actually yeah. throw eggs and salmon run now. Like, why was that not a thing? Uh, second one. Like, I don't get that. Why was that not a thing? Uh, some people never collect eggs. They just stay there forever. I think you know what you know what I think what probably happens. I, what's that game called? Um, where you're like throwing a football or a clam in Splatoon Two? What's that game called? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think like they got clam rush or something. Yeah, yeah, I think they got the 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 um idea of throwing eggs from that game because remember yeah. that mode came into Splatoon Two not late late but later in the game. I was like, oh, maybe we should throw eggs. Yeah, because now. It's, yeah. Yoshi's now. Throwing names. Uh, look at the walls. Oh, look, there's Lakitu on the wall. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to I say? Know, it's, kind of, it's kind of hard to see it. I'm trying to pay attention to the course. Yeah, it's hard. It's even harder to see in terms of these. Dang it, sir. It's easier because you're grinding the wall. I don't know. Either or. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to grind the wall. Oh, Whoa! No. What? Bombs away. It's like a bomb exploded right behind me. <laughs> I'm last. More like right in front of me. Oh no! I thought it was kind of interesting that there was some commotion about how the uh, that's the the Switch re-release of Force Unleashed was based on the Wii version. Yeah. I'm not. I haven't even played the game. I could at least done the 360 version. Well, like, I, come on. Was there I guess there some problems or something? I don't get it. Well, I, I did it just because of the motion control. That's what I'm thinking. Because the Wii was already yeah. set up for motion control. The 360 and PS3 ones weren't. Okay, yeah. So wait, you're telling me there's never been a PS3 or uh, 360 port where it got ported to a Nintendo system and added motion controls? There's never been a game like that? Uh, of course, Skyrim. Okay, so why couldn't they do that with this game? And chose the Wii with those visuals. Like, I'm all for, like, visuals are not everything, and, play, and gameplay should complement uh, that more, but, like, damn. You up They're taking the easy way out. Like, you <laughs> You're talking about the time like... where there was different versions of a game. Like, like literally, the Wii version, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah there, there are definitely gameplay differences with it. Yeah, like, I mean, look back to for different Nintendo games. Yeah, look back to Sonic Unleashed. Like, oh my gosh, that's why. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how I got second. <coughs> now I'm sure if they had a budget, they probably could have done something with it. But yeah, it's like, I'm not saying that you have to put a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that you have, to put a, you have to put a little bit more effort when you're um, up resing games from the 6th gen. And I'm talking about 6th gen with the Wii, not 6th gen with PlayStation 3 and 360. But like, that's going to take a little bit more work because that it looks like you, you didn't touch up anything or it's just the stream just made it look a lot more worse than it actually should. It's a Wii game. I mean, it's yeah, it's literally an upscaled Wii game. They probably just think it'll, it'll just sell like a crap ton just because it's on the Switch. Yeah. Like, they just wanted to get as much money out as possible. Like, the conduit looks better <laughs> than that game. I mean, the conduit did look good for a Wii game. Yeah. We which need conduit bad, 3. Which is a <laughs> bad example to bring up, but it's still a Wii game. Let me see if I can bring up a Wii comparable game that looks like Force Unleashed. The Force Unleashed. <laughs> Speaking of the con, maybe, maybe a FIFA game. I don't know on the Wii. I was gonna say all of them look like garbage. No, there's a crab tuck. I was gonna say like, what about like a uh, like Pandora's Tower? You know what? Here's the thing about Pandora's Tower. It had an interesting art style. Uh, me, that disguised how bad the game looked. Well, I kind of excuse that, at least in my eyes. 
Are we talking about like how good a game looks for a Wii game or a Wii game looking bad? No, because they were saying that like how that game looked, but I would say that the game's art style kind of saved it. Not in the same sense how people look at um, the, uh, the original Xenoblade Chronicles release, that it's, oh, the art style saved it. No, I would say a lot of other things saved that game. The 3DS version was worse looking. <laughs> I mean, if you want good looking Wii games, then The Last Story. Yeah, I had you were going to bring that up because when you think of Operation Rainfall, you think about those three games that oh, yeah. kind of bleed the same. And the one that probably looked the worst out of all of them was probably Last Story. But Pandora's Tower, I actually like the art style. Oh. I mean, it saved how visually it was <clears throat> presented. Not Wait, so you're saying the Last Story looked worse? Than Pandora's the... Tower, yes. What? It, it's it's the best looking out of the three. <laughs> like character wise, like yeah, like seriously, like when you look at characters like Zell and Dagrin and like friggin' like, no, they they last story was a was a pretty decent looking game. I think okay, am I wrong that that game had bloom in it? It, it did have um, some bits of bloom in it, yeah. Yeah, I think that's my problem with the game. Sometimes when I see what I think a game doesn't need that much bloom, <laughs> blinders go on me and I was like, no, I don't like this game. <laughs> so, I'm probably not remembering it that well, but I, I don't think it was excessive with how it used bloom, but I'd have to, I don't know, watch clips of it again or something, I'm not sure. It's like Pandora's Tower, it had bloom, but I felt like it was the right amount of bloom for even what people can look at why that game looks the way it does, but I like the art style, and don't get me wrong, there was an art style with the um, the last story, but I just liked it more, and how it was presented with Pandora's Tower, and over the, uh, the last story. Okay, so my thought from earlier, um, <clears throat> with the conduit or whatever, um, <clears throat> the last time I saw Chain, Chainmail Kid, was mm. Conduit 2. Oh, that's what you were trying to remember? Or you remember that now or afterwards? No, I remembered it, but everybody was talking over me, so yeah. I couldn't really, like, get that thought out. Uh-oh. Uh. That, hap that happens constantly on here. Yeah, because I remember him from the Brawl days. On um, Insider 2, when <clears throat> plans were a big thing in Brawl. Back in the day. Yep. I can't believe that was that long ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> plans were like so long ago. They were like, everyone was checking that website every bump. day. <laughs> we were so hyped for that game. So, is um, anyone excited for Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes? I am. No. I, I am. Not really. <clears throat> to me, I feel like every time when I am. makes these um, spin off games, they're getting better and better. Because like, I Age am. Of Calamity felt like it was close to perfection, and I feel like 3 Hope. And not because I'm going to be using the word, I hope that it's going to be <laughs> a good game. Like, I really think it's going to be a good game. I'm just wondering how the story is going to be told, seeing that everybody with their five-year time skip looks totally different, but yet the same. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything. Oh, man. <clears throat> It was like a thing that happened um, yesterday. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so I updated, I upgraded my internet. Well, our internet. <clears throat> so it's like it's it's like faster, um, but it's less expensive. So <clears throat> it's like they sent us a new router or a new gateway or whatever, and. I was like expecting 
like a sleek new looking router or whatever. They sent us the same thing. So <clears throat> I put it, it's like, I, I hooked it up or whatever because we had to do that and we had to like send the old one back. So <clears throat> brother gets home. I was like, we watched the direct or whatever. And afterwards I ask him, um, does he notice anything different? <clears throat> And he's like, he's looking over there, and... <clears throat> it's like, I knew that he wouldn't get it. So I, like, told him that. And I said, um... <clears throat> it's... It's something different, but it's also the same. <laughs> and, it, and it was the it was the gateway. The like, router or whatever. Like, if you guys were there and heard him explaining this to me, and then he says... Yeah. It's something different, but it looks the same. I sat there and I say, you need to play that back in your head because you sound like a crazy person to me right now. It looks different, but it's the same. How do I process that? And then he told me, boom. And then I told him. Okay, well, continue with this story. Go, go, ahead. go ahead. And it's like, to that, um, I said, um, I know what I said. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, you know, when uh spider-man said that you can't protect the neighborhood if there's no neighborhood i know that didn't make any sense but when he said that in my head it made sense <laughs> things that doesn't make sense don't make sense to me but if i would have heard you say that crazy to me well, the first thing that would have come to mind is is that are you drunk where is wall where is waldo <gasps> because that's what you're kind of asking me right now like how am i supposed to find a waldo in this I don't, I don't get it. He's there. He's at the look for him. <laughs> you know what he's wearing. <laughs> you know what he looks like. He's on the front of the page. Well, he's on the front of the book. Where's Waldo? He's right there. Oh, there. Exactly. <clears throat> so anyway, um... The stream... The bit rate is up by a bit. So it's higher, so it should look better. Don't wanna over don't wanna overdo it. Yeah, I guess you don't want a computer working that hard. Green shell, hit a green shell. Green shell, Ooh. hit a person. <laughs> it's just at a certain point it doesn't really matter. Like on Twitch or whatever. I think like the highest it matters is probably uh, six six thousand kilobits per second. Hmm. I think it's per second. Uh, it's I a lot. It. Oh, damn it! I got hit. <clears throat> oh my god! I think that was the top uh, upload speed that I had before. Hmm. Now it's like over. It's over ten megabits per second now. And the download's a little bit higher than it was. Oh, double ricochet. What's your, what's your download now? Um, ooh. I think it's around like probably 54 or 55. It's like I'm paying for like the like, AT&T. Like yeah, megabits. Yeah, okay. Because okay. before I was paying for 45. And it was going like to like 52, 53. Yeah. That feels oh. like 45. Because <clears throat> I'm paying for 50 now, it's like a little bit up there, like probably 55, 56. 54, are 55, wired? 56. Are you wired yet or are you doing wireless? I'm wired um, for the Switch and the PS4 and all that. Everything else is Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh my god! If you had five G, it would be a lot faster. Yeah. And the two point four. Yeah. The router includes that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it does. <laughs> because we can't even get we can't even get fiber here. Uh. Because like if my we could. internet was like, my internet was really slow until I got a five G router. The reason on two point four, it was like I was getting like way less than I was supposed to get. Even my router was old or whatever. Uh, I was supposed yeah, to get 150, and I wasn't even getting like above 10. You know, I can't get fiber in my area either, but 
remember. The router I had before had 5G. I don't even know if the router I have now. No, no, no it does has 5G. I remember. Because, like, let's see. I mean, 5G recently came out, so I, it definitely doesn't have 5G. Because this one's pretty much exactly the same as the one that I had before. It's like, I've had this connection for a few years now. I've we'll had this be for a few years. Yeah. If you're on 2G and any other device is using that frequency, it's going to slow it down. So it yeah, can... like a cordless phone. Yeah. Yeah, cordless oh, phone wait, uses wait. that yeah. frequency. So if you were on a different frequency, much less like on a different radio channel or whatever like that, your speeds <laughs> are going to increase, no matter if it's wireless or wired. But obviously, wired is going to yeah. be more um, reliable than wired. <laughs> Are you guys talking about the 2.4 gigahertz frequency yeah. and the 5? Yes. Okay, it has that. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay, did you use 5G? It'll work better. I think some of the, some of the even, connections did. Even now, did. when I use 2.4, I don't even get near what I'm supposed to get. It'll turn out really low. Dang it! It's so like, would I, have to, would I have to do that um like with the wired connection, or...? Is that oh, just for Wi-Fi? No, it's just for Wi-Fi. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wi-Fi. Because... Why are you giving you their fastest speed? Yeah, those perks are on a signal. And I just say, when you think of a signal, it signals as yeah. you can't see. Which is weird to say, but yeah. you know what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, we can't see radio waves, got it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, I think I can actually find that because I think I did something with that before but I'll, I'll be able to find it in there it's like I'm not some I'm artists, um, sort of technically well, savvy split, the two yeah, signals and some of them yeah some of them let you combine them that's a I, I'm curious to see how that would look when you combine them no you just combine them you can like I think you like bridge them or whatever you can so my um, router has a setting where you can combine the um, the 2.4 and like the, um, the 5, so it's just one um, SSID, not two of them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. each of those... Um... But if you have them separate, you can't um, do like Wi-Fi streaming like on your um, local network, like if you have a Chromecast or something, you won't be able to find it. You can split, yeah, that, I think. That, that makes sense. Kind yeah. of like when you get those two-in-one devices back in the day with, you know, the VCR and the TV, if one of them breaks, the yeah. other one breaks. So, yeah. combining it is the, you will lose a feature, so that, that makes sense, yeah. Because obviously when you have two signals, you're going to have two security IDs, so yeah. Yeah, but you can combine them all into one, some new routers do that. Oh! Oh. So, yeah. oh. Oh man, that was such a crappy ending. Hey, so, yep. come back. This will be the last race. 100. Oh, so that died. Oh, yeah, that's that died. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's oh, died. oh. oh. <laughs> Let's go to Royal Raceway. Form no, legs no. and arms. Now form oh. the head. <laughs> Bulltron. We talk about live and live. We talked about Mario Strikers, Fire Emblem, the two. Let's see. Um. <clears throat> um. Yeah, we haven't talked about fire. Xenoblade. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, um. <clears throat> to bring up something. To bring up something from last week. Oh. I've got a few things here. Mm -hmm. Got my brother those. Reese's mm -hmm. peanut butter cups. Regular chocolate. Mean. Eggs. Eggs? Like the bite sized yeah. ones. And I got the white egg Reese's. Oh, uh, I thought. Never mind. Like the dark chocolate <laughs> Reese's. The best. Oh, yeah, but the best ones are the mini ones, like the little bite sized ones that are unwrapped. Those are the best ones. Oh, those are dangerous. Yeah, the little mini ones. I mean, dangerous. eat a ton of those. Ooh. And you just get a whole mouthful of them and they're good. Like Kirby? Uh, oh, go ahead. Go. These are just. We're talking about uh, mouthful. The Doris's. Oh. The mini mouthful ones are the bite sized ones, the little tiny ones. Mouthful of car. Yeah. I don't think you want to see Kirby at the mouthful of. Dang it. Yeah. 
the what did you call him? I said Carby. <laughs> Carby? Carby. Welcome to Carby's. <laughs> That's kind of like what his name is in Japan. Carby. Oh, the car for Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it kind of did. Someone posted a picture online. It had the, um, Kirby taking the um, the car from um, Cars, the Disney movie. It said Kapow, uh, or Kapoyo. <laughs> I think I saw that picture. Yeah. Was I, um, Kirby's the blanket my, over him? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, in, it was in my feed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to talk about Xenoblade uh -huh. now, you can. It's going to be amazing. That is all. Oh, Dang it. What? I've only played a little bit. Fought the final boss. Didn't get anywhere. I feel like if anyone wants to play Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and not to say understand what's going on, you kind of have to play the first and the second game. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I fought the final boss in the first the game. game. Yeah. Hopefully Xenoblade 3 runs better. Doesn't look like crap on the Switch. Dang it. Why are Let's see, because uh. everything we saw in that trailer was just a bunch of story bits and the characters running in the world. We haven't actually seen yeah. any battles. And I think the reason why they haven't done that is because maybe how you do battles is a little bit different, but not too different. I was going to say, I mean, they kind of followed the reveal the same way they did for Xenoblade 2. And then, like, the original trailer oh. for Xenoblade 1 was, like, some story. And then it showed a beta version of Dunban charging the Mechon in Sword Valley. Was that how it was for Xenoblade 2? Because I remember they showed a bunch of story. And they showed the characters walking around, but there was no battles. So, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. The the first trailers for each game didn't really have anything with with battles in it. Uh, <laughs> I'm really curious of what people are saying about the rumors is that instead of auto attacking, you actually have to attack with the button now, and that's going to be such a revelation to people. Oh my gosh, I have to use buttons to attack now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, why are people saying that? Like. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm I'm either or. I'm okay if it's fixed to auto attacking or we have to use a button now. It doesn't really matter to me. I play so many RPGs, it doesn't matter almost what form it comes in. Yeah! <laughs>